Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today to share with you all a unboxing and setup of this Walmart DIY planner. It is the brand Timeless Creations and it's by Craze Art. It is a 12 month undated planner. And this planner was originally $12.84. I got it for $5 on clearance. You do see a $9 sticker right there, but there is a $5 clearance sticker on the back hand side here. So I do just wanna let you all know that this will be probably a longer video. So you may just wanna stay tuned if you wanna see how I set this up and what it looks like. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's get this tape off here. And before I do too much, I did just wanna read to you all what comes in here and kind of show you the back here. So it says it includes everything you need. One planner with 12, month, 12 monthly dividers, 72 weekly slash monthly calendar sheets, two yearly calendars, 75 note pages, 10 journal pages, three pocket folders, four sticker sheets, six rolls of washi tape, six gel pens, and six binder clips. So literally anything that you could ask for as far as having a planner and supplies is right here. I would say that just starting out, this is all you need. You don't need to go to Michael's or go to any Etsy shops to order anything additional. This is exactly what you need for planning. You don't need all the fancy stuff. You don't even need the stuff you see me buy. That stuff is excessive and I just buy it because it's cute. I don't really need it. If you're starting out, these are the essentials that you would need, everything in this box. So, now with that being said, I do just wanna also say that I will insert a picture of the barcode of this at the end of this video so you all can check and see if your Walmart has it. I have gotten a lot of comments and emails about that, so I will have the picture at the end. So, let's go ahead and open it up now. I did go, I already go ahead and pop the tape, so it should be fairly easy to get this off. And I do also have my classic size happy planner on the side so we can kind of compare and see how they are similar. Of course, this isn't a happy planner, but it does seem like it has similar features. So that did get bent up a little bit in one of the folders. And that's fine. I may not use that one. I still could probably use it, but it did get a little bent up because of the packaging. So, so far, I mean, that would be a little bit of a turnoff, but that's something that we could work around. It's not that big of a deal because you can always make your own additional folder. So, we're not going to stress that when you already got the plan for $5, right? So, it looks like we have our monthly dividers here. What I would suggest is that they not put tape on the dividers. Like, they just, the packaging is just kind of horrible. All right, now that we've finally gotten through some layers of stuff, now we get to take out the planner itself. And we're gonna get the rest of this out so we can get a really good look at it. There's the washi. Very vibrant colors and it's thin washi at that, so always good to have your thin washi. Binder clips. And here is the gel pens. So. Here is the planner itself. First impressions, I am not fond of the cover at all. So that's definitely something that I will be changing. I don't have a uh, laminator machine, but I will figure out a way to tweak it and, you know, make it my own somehow. Um, what I will say is the pages look a little messed up. So I have to go through and do some adjustments, a little bent up. But let's try and compare it to the size of my classic happy size planner. So, they seem about the same size, let's see. I would say that this Walmart DIY planner is definitely thicker. Here is the classic happy planner and here is the Walmart planner. So, Walmart planner is definitely thicker. So keep that in mind if you're somebody that doesn't like a bulky planner, you may not wanna purchase the Walmart planner. So, open it up, it says this planner belongs to, and I probably will go ahead and get some stickers and put my name. And this is undated, 
and it has a vertical layout and it's not neutral at all, so keep that in mind. And it even has these dashboard type things, not dashboards, um, I forget what you call them in the Happy Planner, but it has this kind of setup for the month where you can put important dates to do, don't forget, goals, notes, and birthdays. So that's very cool, very, very cool, I love that. And it looks like, if that's the case, they already have the months for the most part separated for you. It does seem like it is kind of difficult to turn, but again, that's something we can work around. There's a note section. It also has grid paper, I believe. You get quite a bit of notes. It seems like a lot. And the Happy Planner, the classic Happy Planner that I have, you didn't get any notes. The kind of thing you had to buy yourself. Looks like some blank paper. It's got some cute floral pattern up there. And then you just get back into your, your months and your weeks. So a good amount of that is note paper. So if you wanted to use this for school, I would definitely recommend this for somebody, a student, instead of buying a happy planner, maybe purchase this one. So we have here, before we get into the dividers, let's look at this thin washi and you get, looks like six colors, yellow, green, uh, teal looking color, <laughs> blue, purple, and pink. And like I said, this is literally all you need starting out. You don't need a ton of washi like you see others buy. Washi is nice, but if you're someone that you're not gonna be using a lot of washi, there's no need to buy it in an excessive amount. So, there it is. Looks like you get a, a decent amount of product on the roll. All right, and for the most part, the gel pens are almost in similar colors, except the black and orange is different. You don't get a roll of black washi tape and you don't get a roll of orange washi tape, but you do get those colors in the gel pens. So, all right, so these are cute. You know, the gel pens. Classic gel pen, I believe it's 0 0.7 millimeter ink. You get your little uh, comfort strip thing here. And I'm sure it writes just fine. So, not sure if I wanna write my name in the cover or if I want to use now. <laughs> thing about this is, I just noticed this as I opened it, it has 2017 right here and 2018 for those monthly calendars. So you can always put something over this so you don't have to see the year of 2017, but you can't take this page out. Well, I guess you could if you wanted to, but I won't take it out because I want to put my name right here and I'll probably use some alphabet stickers to put my name instead of writing my name. So. There are the gel pens. And here are the binder clips. The binder clips just come in the same colors and they're just like pastel looking colors. So I mean, standard stuff. So let's take a look at the additional things that come in there. Now these I had a hard time getting out of the package, but that's okay. So you have here just your folders and Inside of this folder is the stickers. Let's take a look at the stickers. So, typical planner stickers. It says, happy and joy, I'm going to shine today, make today great, have your page flags, little checklist. These are gorgeous though, they really are. To do, it's all these pretty floral patterns. And then you get in here and you get these birthday vacations. You got your number, your date covers. Down here, this is what you'll label your, your months with when you get into the planner itself. And then more date covers. You get a ton of, uh, looks like date covers or, you know, for your, your different months, you can put these into the monthly boxes. So I'm not quite sure on what month I want to start this planner in. So, let's go ahead and open the planner up and put our dividers and monthly tabs in. So here's the first month. Now, I'm thinking I want this to start in 
Hmm. Should we start it in July? Divider is cute though. It's got the purple July and uh, the disc, just like the Happy Planner. Just snap it in like that. Here is the month of August. That's very pretty. Here is September. It says be happy. I love that. Here is October. November. December says bloom, grow, blossom. January has like a marbling and some floral patterns right here. This actually looks, are these like succulents? These look like succulents actually. That's cute. February is definitely one of my favorites. It's got the succulent and like the pink wood grain look. There's March. April is adorable. It has this blue wood grain look and the heart filled with succulents. It says make today beautiful and this is for May. And the last monthly divider we have is for June. And I love this purple background here, it's so cute. Just love it so much. Now, now that our monthly dividers are in, we do have these pockets here, the pocket folders. Now, when I was first opening up the box, this one did get damaged. It's a little bent up. And I don't really think that I will need three of these pocket folder dividers. So I'm not going to use this one. So we would just be using these two. This one says beautiful inside out. It does have folders on the front and back and this just snaps in. This one's like a lavender wood grain with the succulents and it has a folder on the front and the back. So what I am going to do is going to place one of these back here behind the last week right before the note section. or right before the blank paper. So we'll put this one right here. We'll just snap that in. And this is where, no, I don't wanna keep the stickers back there. So the next one, I believe I'm just going to flip to the beginning of the planner. As you can see, it's very thick. I can't imagine if I would have used the other folder. So definitely would advise you to get just these flat stickers in this planner. For sure, just flat stickers. So this is actually where I'm going to put the other divider, right here. Definitely a tight fit. I do love that the the Me and My Big Ideas Happy Planner does give you more space. Now, if I wanted to, because this is, you know, a disc bound planner, if I wanted to buy some Happy Planner rings to use for this, I could. Say for example, I upgraded the rings on my Happy Planner. I could take these and use them here, but they would probably be too small. So if I wanted to, I could go and right now, Michaels has, I believe, the expander rings. Not the metal ones, those are a little bit more expensive, but the other expander rings. I can go and use a 40% off coupon. And if I really wanted to, I can give myself more size in this planner. You could as well, if that's what you wanna do. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just stick my stickers in here. I think that's a good place for them. And now, I wanna go ahead and change up not only my cover, but I wanna go ahead and label who this planner belongs to. Okay, so I did go ahead and pull all of my alphabet stickers that I have. I have silver, I have like a rose gold. I have regular like yellow gold. I have like these pink glittery alphabet stickers as well. I thought about using these, but they have so much glitter fallout. Not sure if I feel like being, you know, showered in glitter right now. 
So I'm thinking I may just go with these silver. We'll go ahead and open these up. And I buy a lot of these from Walmart. They're only like 98 cents at Walmart, the alphabet stickers. You get 62 pieces. So pretty much all of these came from Walmart, the sticker brand. And these came from the Mighty Dollar, so these were a dollar. So let's go ahead and put my name on there. All right, it is all finished. I did go ahead and put my name there in the silver alphabet letters. And what I have decided to do, since this planner is just so full, I am going to go ahead and take out some of the notes section. It's just a little too full for me. So, we'll leave all of the blank paper in there, but we're gonna go ahead and just take out half of these notes because they are not needed. And I'll just hold on to them for something else. Maybe I'll put them in my classic size happy planner if I see fit. So I did go ahead and eliminate some of my notes pages and what I did decide to do, since I am not fond of this cover, I'm just gonna turn them around because I have that purple wood grain look on there. So this is actually the back cover and I'm just gonna snap it on like this. And I got a purple wood grain looking planner. And then I'm just gonna snap this on like this. And that was easy enough. And I still may tweak it and add some stickers on the cover, some butterflies, I'll just embellish it and make it my own. But right now, this is the setup, y'all. I am finished setting up the $5 DIY planner. And I did start mine for July. I set it up to start in the month of July. So far, I have to say, that I love it. Um, and one thing I wanted to point out is that it is labeled here. It says morning, afternoon, and evening. So you get that layout and it looks like it's the same box size as the cl classic happy planner. So let's see if we can verify that. Let me turn to a blank spot in my happy planner and we can just kind of see here. And those boxes definitely look identical to each other. So let's go ahead and just take out our ruler here and see if they match up. It looks like these boxes are just a tad longer, just a little bit. So if you had some of me and my Big Ideas sticker books, you could use them in here if you wanted to. Alrighty, you all, hope you all enjoyed this kind of unboxing and setup of the $5 DIY planner. And hopefully you all could find it in your Walmarts. If you haven't, just, then just be patient. Um, someone did leave a comment on my video saying they actually picked it up a couple weeks ago, I believe. And it was $5 and they love it. So definitely, you know, check out your Walmart. The little discs have little flowers on them. The Happy Planner has hearts, so that's a difference. You see the difference there. And it is thicker, but like I said, you can go ahead and just remove anything that you're not using. So here it is, y'all. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not already. I hope that y'all stay safe and blessed, and I'll talk to you again in the next video. Peace.